Okay, this is space trusses. A space truss consists of members joined together at their ends to form a stable 3D structure. Okay. And a simple space truss is basically a 3D triangle. So we have member forming a triangle. Like a pyramid. That's a simple space truss. If we had an external loading of P, and then at each of our joints we had a ball and socket. Okay, and when you're doing a space truss, you need to make assumptions. So one assumption is members. may be treated as a two-force member provided the external loadings is applied at the joints and the joints are ball and socket connections. And this assumption is also valid for welded or bolted connections when the weight of a member is neglected. Okay, so the procedure for analysis for this, same thing as with a 2D truss. You've got the method of joints, and you want to use this one when forces in all the members need to be determined. And for these, you want to utilize some of the forces is equal to zero to analyze. All right, and the other thing we can do is method of sections. When a few forces are to be determined. You cut the truss into two sections. Then apply your equations of equilibrium. And in method of sections, you can use the sum of the forces is equal to zero and you can use the sum of the moments. It's equal to zero. And that's it.